these guys look very cool indeed. This is the Naharar Cavalry. Uh, wouldn't want to see these guys in battle, that's for sure. Hello everyone, and this is another port for Rome Total Realism. Uh, not, not Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition, for Rome Remastered. And uh, this is Langeen's Barbarian Empires. So it's, it's not a f pure port because it's not like a one-to-one -one port of the original mod. It's an enhanced sort of version of the original Barbarian Empire. So the original Rome Total War has uh, two versions of this mod by um, Langeen, uh, which is uh, Barbarian Empires and Barbarian Empires Hellenistic Legacy. And uh, the original Barbarian Empires is a little more, uh, it keeps that vanilla aspect a little bit more because it has the three Roman families in it. And uh, this is kind of more in that vein, but then you also have the um, uh, additional factions in Hellenistic Legacy and you have United Rome. Hellenistic Legacy always felt like a little bit more of a realistic uh, sort of version of the mod. I really enjoy both of them. I enjoy both of them. I have a video. I have a couple videos mentioning um, Barbarian Empires and I have a, a sort of overview of Hellenistic Legacy. And uh, this mod is trying to be the best of both worlds. So of course um, the original Barbarian Empires was uh, limited due to the faction slots, so Langeen could only do so much in terms of uh, additions, and he makes a lot of additions in his mods. And uh, the original, oh, oh, one other thing I have to mention, <coughs> excuse me, is that the original Barbarian Empires is on uh, Mundus Magnus, but, which is a fine map and all, but this mod is on the um, the Cursey, the beautiful, wonderful, giant Cursey map that extends all the way to uh, east of India. And that really makes everything stand out. And you have, of course, in this mod, the Greco-Bactrian kingdom. I, of, of course, had to choose them. Um, now, uh, this mod is sort of an in-between. So you have the heavier mods like uh, Europa Barbarorum that seek to sort of mold the gameplay in a completely different direction, right? So you have the sort of historical reforms. You have a really heavy AOR system. Uh, it's... This one has an AOR system too, but... Uh, very heavy-handed in terms of the gameplay there. Um, but you, and then you have other mods like, uh, what am I thinking of, uh, Europa Barbarorum, and then Chivalry 2 is kind of heavy on that realistic progression aspect. But, uh, and then you have Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition, which is kind of an in-between where it's changing the vanilla gameplay, but it's not an unrecognizable game. Like Europa Barbarorum is, can be unrecognizable at times, especially something like Europa Barbarorum 2. Uh, this mod is not unrecognizable. So it keeps, it, it's more, it's more like Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition in that way. Like it's an in-between mod. It does heavily change the gameplay. It heavily rebalances everything, but it doesn't feel like a different game. This feels like Rome Total War. Let me just <clears throat> show you this map here. I haven't showcased the latest version of Cursey's map, but this is... It is something else. Like, I'm still scrolling here, and I haven't even reached the northeast corner of the map, and I'm starting out as a faction that's pretty far in the northeast. So the, where am I? I can't even find myself. Uh, yeah, I can't even find myself. Um, anyway, I have a little game bar thing. It's blocking the minimap. But you feel so small on this map. And, you know, that's a good thing. It's cool. It's, um, it's something very new. Like, Rome, 
Rome 2 has a big map, much bigger than Rome 1's original map, much bigger than Mundus Magnus, but this map is just something else. It's just something else. And um, <coughs> I'm just I'm just speechless at the scale here. So let's actually let's actually scroll to the west here. Now the Seleucid Empire campaign, I, I'm not going to play it. I can't say I um recommend playing it. It's just how much can you manage from the very beginning? I like starting out smaller. Um, yeah, and it's a very, very historically accurate map. Like, you won't find... Like, of course, there have to be some speculative settlements, especially for, like, the north, the, the, the camps and stuff. But when you get to areas that have, like, attestations, uh, this map is just second to none in terms of adding historical or historically accurate settlements and not having inaccurate settlements like we have a very nice um uh, armenia here and pontus and it's just a really nice job and of course uh being barbarian invasion uh barbarian empires there are some of uh, vanilla aspects that are still here so like we have um, the greek cities and it's still uh, it includes like byzantium and roads within one sort of faction. Um, you have the Kingdom of Epirus as an additional faction here in Barbarian Empires. You have the Roman families and the Senate, which I think is cool. Like the original game was sort of designed around the super faction mechanic, and I think keeping it is not necessarily anti-realism. It's, it's actually a very cool mechanic when used correctly. <coughs> And, um, yeah, I, I'm i just blown away. So, anyway, let's get back to uh, Bactria here. And let's uh, get into a battle, and I'll showcase some of, uh, s some of the units here. Because th what really makes this mod stand out is its phenomenal, phenomenal units. And those are um, mostly ported from the original mod. So, I will... Uh, see you in a battle in just a moment so uh just a quick look at the uh, rosters here this mod like the original barbarian empires was like this as well but this mod <coughs> excuse me this mod goes to like incredible lengths to have like extremely extremely well represented and ex extremely thick unit rosters like thicc unit rosters um and that goes for all factions like the thracians are wonderful um the carthaginian roster is fantastic um the armenian roster is pretty incredible as well i'll showcase uh, some of those the pontic roster is uh, monumental. The Seleucid roster is just could be put into a museum. It is wonderful. And one other thing this mod does that you know it, I really appreciate is that uh, you know for a lot of people, a lot of people prefer the realistic unit skins and having like mixed colors. Uh, but for some people, Rome Total War is a game first and foremost, and people appreciate the color coding so you can actually like see who you're fighting and uh, see your own troops right and kind of make them out so you're going to have pink parthians in this mod you're going to have light blue pontus you're going to have uh, greenish armenia you're going to have red green and blue and purple romans um and you know the color coding i i appreciate it a lot of people like that, and a lot of people prefer that. I, you know, especially when I'm distracted and I'm, like, commentating as I'm playing a battle, it's very hard for me to keep up when all the unit skins are, like, uh, mixed and everything kind of looks soupy. So th this I really appreciate as well. 
So let's get into a battle here, and I'll showcase just uh, some of these units. Any of these rosters really are just magnificent. So I'll uh, see you in a battle in just a moment. All right, so here we are in battle here. And uh, we I chose the Thracians because uh, I like them. And you can see the color coding here, but the color coding is done not in like a cartoony way. It's it's done in a very tasteful way. I don't know how to say it. The, the colors have a sort of realistic tinge to it. I'm not sure how to say it. But anyway, the units in uh, this mod, Barbarian Empires, look just really, really nice indeed. Um, so factions like Thrace that can get overlooked in a lot of mods have like super, not, like these guys are hillmen. Just hillmen. Like think of the hillmen and vanilla and the yeah. kind of cartoony nature. And look at these guys. And these guys, they do look like they're dressed up for Chicago. But uh, I wouldn't want to, uh, Chicago cold weather. But uh, they look a lot tougher than uh, hillmen and vanilla, I'll tell you that. And then you've got Illyrian brigands. I like their helmet. Um, let's uh, start the battle here, and I'll show off uh, some of the other units we've got. So we have Romans here. And this is the uh, House of Julii, so they're red. And the units in this mod are really, really detailed. Even, even in the original mod, even with like low resolution textures, they always looked really nice. Lan Jane d does something to make them look really nice. It, it, he's, it, he puts a lot of care into his work. And look at that shield. Um, let's take a look at some of the other armies here. So uh, who's that? That's uh, the Armenian forces here. So we've got sort of Achaemenid style archer spearmen. We've got uh, the l low class uh, Ramik spearmen looking good as well. We've got their version of the hillmen. We've got, oh, these guys look very cool indeed. This is the Naharar cavalry. Uh, wouldn't want to see these guys in battle, that's for sure. We've got the royal bodyguards with a different type of cataphract armor looking very cool. I like the Naharar ones a little more. I would say. So those guys look nasty. We've got Carthaginian war elephants. Uh, we've got um, where are the Carthaginians here? The Libyan royal cavalry. Just uh, the units in this mod are just really nice. It's really nice to watch them. You could just uh, pull up a battle and choose a bunch of units and look at them. It's it's that nice. And this mod is still in open uh, beta. So it's not complete by any means. There's still a lot of work to be done uh, on the campaign side in terms of uh, the units as well. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. But again, this is another big port. And not just a port. This is an enhanced port. So uh, don't. This is uh, the original Barbarian Empires is not this... It's not like this. A great mod in its own right, but this is bigger. This is a bigger mod. So um, stay tuned for that. If you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider liking this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out Barbarian Empires, the open beta on the Steam Workshop in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one later.